Presidential candidate Gary Johnson has made headlines twice for the wrong reasons, with two rather large gaffes that suggest he has limited foreign policy knowledge. First, Johnson appeared not to know basic facts about the Syrian civil war. What would you do if you were elected about Aleppo? About? Aleppo. And what is Aleppo? You're kidding. No. Two weeks later, he was stumped when asked to name one world leader he admired. Go ahead. <laughs> you got to do this anywhere, any continent. Canada, Mexico, Europe, over there, uh, Asia, South America, Africa, name a foreign leader that you respect. I guess I'm having an Aleppo moment in the former, former president of Mexico. But I'm giving Mexico. you the whole I world. Know, I know. What else do we know about Johnson? The former New Mexico governor is 2016's Libertarian Party candidate for president, who has chosen former Massachusetts Governor William Weld as his running mate. Libertarian candidates have rarely gotten more than 1% of the vote. But this year, with Republicans and Democrats having nominated two historically unpopular candidates, Johnson has found up to 10% support in national polls, attracting dissatisfied voters on the left and the right. Yet despite his 2016 support, Johnson has been unable to poll above the 15% threshold required to participate in the presidential debates. Without being on the debate stage, there's no way that you can win the presidency. You can't win the Super Bowl if you're not in it. Johnson is pro-choice and believes drugs should be legalized. He supports free trade and is against military interventionism. It's time we stood up against what the federal government is dictating that those of us in this state should do. And Gary Johnson owned a successful construction business before running as a Republican for governor of New Mexico in 1994. Once elected, he aggressively pushed to reduce spending and became notorious for wielding veto power. While in office, he vetoed more than 750 bills and fought for tax cuts, but the state budget still increased by over 7% annually during his tenure. In 1999, he became one of the first major politicians to advocate for marijuana legalization. Regulate it, tax it, get a handle on drugs, which are the scourge of this country. But you're not going to do it the way you've been doing it. Once his final gubernatorial term ended in 2003, Johnson shifted to public policy advocacy for libertarian causes, including a less punitive drug policy. Johnson endorsed Ron Paul's presidential campaign in 2008 and ran for president as a libertarian in 2012, but received less than 1% of the vote. In September, the Clinton campaign redoubled efforts to reach out to millennials and independent voters inclined to vote for Johnson or Green Party candidate Jill Stein. As the election approaches, Johnson's gaffes may cut into his support and increase the likelihood that his campaign will be remembered at best as a spoiler or at worst, a mere footnote to the 2016 presidential election. This is the craziest election ever, right? And you know how crazy it is? I'm going to be the next president of the United States. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.